I'm just gonna be the one to say it. I think all men have a genetic predisposition to sexual depravity and physical violence. I'm gonna say it and I know I'm right because I am a woman who has to live in a society with men. And be A major femicide trial opened in Italy on September 24th, 2024 after the brutal una living of a university student by her ex-boyfriend that triggered outrage and national soul-searching over the roots of male violence against women. The una living in November 2023 of Julia Sacchetin, 22, a biomedical engineering student at the University of Padua, cast a grim spotlight on femicide in Italy where the vast majority of victims are killed at the hands of their current or former partners. Before that, we heard of the case of the female trainee doctor in India. The autopsy report indicated that she was Una lived after being brutally and intimately assaulted. The body of the woman postgraduate trainee was found in the hospital's seminar room of West Bengal government-run R.G. Carr Medical College and Hospital. The first arrest was made shortly after. However, in line with the long-standing Grape Shield laws of India, in August 2024, the Supreme Court ordered that the name and photos of the victim be removed from social media and electronic platforms. As if the world was not shocked enough, the news would break of the una living of Olympic runner Rebecca Cheptegei by her former partner. The 33-year-old Ugandan passed days after being doused in petrol and set alight by her ex-boyfriend at her home in western Kenya. From this account, you can see that femicide does not discriminate. It happens in every country. A United Nations report states, violence against women and girls remains one of the least prosecuted and punished crimes in the world. It is still so deeply embedded in cultures around the world that it is almost invisible. These are just three of a long list of daily una living of women, because they are women, femicide. What is the definition of femicide? Watch this clip from an earlier presentation on YouTube by the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. The basic definition of femicide is that it occurs when a woman or girl is killed because of her gender. The acts are typically rooted in sex discrimination and often overlap with other identities like race, religion, sexuality and ability. Femicide also usually includes patriarchal notions of women as property or objects of men. For decades, progress against femicide has been slow. Over 30 years ago, the largest mass femicide in Canada occurred in Montreal at École Polytechnique. After that, in the mid-1990s, a groundbreaking study on, on intimate femicide in Ontario helped raise awareness about violence against women and girls. Since then, there has been limited progress on public knowledge about femicide. According to UN Women, globally 81,000 women and girls were una lived in 2021, and around 45,000 of them or 56% did so at the hands of an intimate partner or a family member. Femicide Census informs us that every single day, 137 women and girls across the world are una lived by a family member or intimate partner. Some might know about the case of the young girl in Jamaica who fell victim to femicide due to her father's acrimonious relationship. We had a conversation about that and here is a clip of our YouTube video in 2023. beautiful child was murdered last week and um, she was only eight years old. Her name is Danielle, Danielle Rowe. She was murdered in Jamaica. Assailant still unknown. Um, I am saddened by this, but they've all been saddened for a long time now. You know, there have been so many incidents. I. We here at the Gaza Sakiba Foundation might have been one of the first persons, I'm sure we were the first ones, when I was doing a program called um, Her Stories, I haven't done it in a while, when I was doing a program called Her Stories, which we aired um, on Sunday evenings, I did a feature, and probably I'll replay it one day, I did a feature on femicide and what is the meaning of femicide, which basically means the killing of women and girls simply because they're girls and women, they're female, and so instead of homicide, it's femicide, killing of women and girls. And I am sad to say that this seemed to be 
what's happening in Jamaica. And um, so sad, man. He, wants, he didn't want to start this way, but it would not have been proper for us not to have paused and acknowledged um, what, what has happened. Here's a sad but relevant quote. The most dangerous place for a woman is the home. It is estimated that around the world, a woman or girl is una lived every 11 minutes in their own home. Weform.org estimates that six women are una lived every hour by men around the world, most by men in their own family or their partners. Will you be next? What will it take for you to speak up? As a woman, what action can you take to help at least reduce femicide in your country?